I'd had a crush on him badly by this point. I mean, he brought me a beautiful flower for the gala, and I was pretty much like this to him, cuddled close. And finally, for the first time ever, he put his arm around me. I said, this is nonsense. I'm going to do it if he's not going to do it. And so oh, I, had to, I had to go in for the first kiss. And for a whole 10 seconds, yeah. just everything was silent. And it was that rush of shock that, oh my God, I finally just kissed Aaron. I was sitting here like thinking, I'm kissing the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> the most amazing woman I know. And I was like, oh my God, I'm kissing Aaron, the most handsome guy. And he's sweet and he's charming and he's just always been there. And he's transgender just like me, so he understands me. And it was great. It was incredible. Right now, I'm really, really looking for to get my top surgery. So to get my breasts removed because that is one of the most uncomfortable things in my on my body and I can't really stand to even just have I always have a t-shirt on I can never just be relaxed in my own skin so my top surgery is definitely a must for me and the bottom surgery I don't think it's a, a must right now I am trying to get these off me as soon as I can basically after I came out and transitioned, and it was beautiful, and I felt good about myself, and I was happy. And from this day, I cry every time I talk about it because I realize that I don't want any other kid to go through what I had to go through. No, no one else. It hurts so bad. It's the worst pain I could ever describe. And it's not that I'm crying over myself. It's that I'm crying that I know right now there's hundreds of kids out there going through exactly what I did, but they're still going through it. They're still, they're still hurting. 